So today's problem in the VW is a P0322 code, ignition distributor engine speed input circuit no signal. So that's going to be the crankshaft position sensor. So the symptoms are sometimes the car won't start right away, you'll have to crank on the key, and if you pump the gas a couple times, that'll help, it'll fire right up. It's the same as the camshaft position sensors when they go bad. So step one is going to be pull the front bumper off and then drive the car up on blocks. You don't have to pull your front bumper off to do this, you just have to get to the oil filter. But I can't drive my car up on blocks or ramps without taking the front bumper off because it's so low. But you can jack your car up, whatever you have to do to get to your oil filter. So that'll give us a little more room. It did seem like it was running terrible. And we know we're still getting a code. Okay, so down under the Jetta here, right by the oil filter if you have the VR6, we're going to take this bracket off. We have our Allen key in there, and then there's one more up here. And then we should be able to get to the crankshaft position sensor. This is a 5 millimeter. Put the camera down for one second and then get hurt. But we got this one loose. Now we'll go back to this one. I don't want to strip it, but you really got to make sure you got it in there good. If you only have a small set of Allen keys like this, you can do it. These two are five, and then this one is a six. And you just turn it the other way so it's long ways in there. And then put the wrench on it. And then we got it broke free now, so we'll take the wrench off. So once you get that top bolt out, you can move the bracket quite a bit. That should be enough just to move it out of the way there. So now we just got to take that Allen screw out of the sensor that oily sensor and then the hard part's going to be on plugging it up here all right so we got the screw out mm. so the plug for the camshaft position sensor sits in this little bracket right here on your oil dipstick so you can push it towards the engine and it'll pop out and then you can have it right here so you can unclip it. So I have the new crankshaft position sensor and we got it from Rock Auto because they're usually the cheapest and we got the Corvette magnet this time so you can add that to the rest of them up there. And when I started this project I didn't have stitches in my thumb so it's gonna be a lot harder to put everything back together but we're gonna try. So here's the new one and what we're gonna try to do is put this connection in on the dipstick where it holds it and then you'll be able to plug the plug in from the top and then we just have to put the sensor in. So I've already replaced both camshaft position sensors which are uh, similar symptoms it'll be a different check engine light code. So we have the new crankshaft position sensor in and we tighten that up and the wire is supposed to run behind the oil filter here and then it goes up and we have the plug started in the bracket. I just have to get that clip down in there more and then plug the other end into it. So everything's done under the car. We've got the air pump bracket back in. Got the sensor in, got it plugged in. In that little bracket up here, right where it's supposed to be. So now we can go wash our hands. And then we just have to put the front bumper back on. Which you guys don't have to take the front bumper off. I just like doing it. So. Yep, first try. So we'll pull that check engine light code in a second, see what that is, clear it out. No codes are stored, good to go.
So they call it getting computered when a little sensor or the ECU shuts your whole car down for something minor. It's like when I had the Mark V R32 and then the alternator went bad and the DSG transmission doesn't get the right amount of voltage. It'll just kick into neutral and leave you stranded. Now we have a six speed manual and you don't have to send any voltage to the transmission. Mark IV is much better than Mark V's. But even this still has computer problems, so we have to get an even older VW. So if someone could invent a way to, say, mechanically pump fuel and mechanically send spark, and then everything's connected with, say, like a timing chain, we wouldn't need all these sensors and computers. Someone should invent that. Mechanical fuel pumps and spark. Yeah, that's totally normal what those planes are doing there. So like always, I'll add the old crankshaft position sensor to the parts bin I have here in the trunk with all my tools. And you're probably thinking, why would you save an old crankshaft position sensor if it failed? Well, the same reason I keep spark plugs and everything else in here. Because if, it's, if you're stuck on the side of the road and it throws a crankshaft position sensor code, I'll put this one back in if you have to to get home. And I can usually change all this stuff with the little toolkit and Allen wrenches that I have in the car, so you can pretty much fix everything with this toolkit.